Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on troubleshooting IPv4 routing. In this lesson, we will focus on troubleshooting security. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe three device planes, explain the control plane policing and the control plane protection features, explain how the unicast reverse path forwarding security measure functions, discuss Cisco's firewall options. Let us start our discussion on the types of device planes that need security. There are three planes of a device that need to be secured. Management plane, control plane, and data plane. Management plane is used to access and configure a switch or a router. It is secured through various methods. One of the methods is Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP version 3. This method can be compared to SNMP versions 1 and 2C, which have no authentication or encryption. Another security method is implementing Terminal Access Controller Access Control System Plus for authentication and authorization. In addition, a VTY Access Control List can be used to secure the VTY lines. Secure Shell provides encryption for remote access. Role-based command language interface CLI views restrict the use of router commands by user. In the next slide, let us discuss Control Plane. Control Plane includes routing protocols and spanning tree used between routers and switches. The Auto Secure command is an interactive script used to automatically secure a router. Other security measures include routing protocol authentication, and CPU and memory thresholding. In the next slide, let us discuss Data Plane. Data Plane forwards data through a router or a switch. It can be secured through ACLs, 802.1x authentication, IPsec VPN tunnels, and unicast reverse path forwarding. In the next slide, let us discuss Control Plane Policing. 